the Christmas Movie Madness on SteinbeckOnline.com. I'm Dave Anthony. And I'm Kenton Dick, your co-host. Here's how it works, and how it's worked since the beginning. We're trying to figure out what's the number one Christmas movie here in the Southeast. We took nominations. We took the 32 most voted Christmas movies, and now we're doing a head-to-head -head matchup, kind of March Madness style bracket. So, moving on to round number three. Let's look at the matchups. Round of eight. This is gonna be really interesting. In the Frosty Division, Mickey's Christmas Carol, which we just talked about, had the most votes out of any movie in round two, up against A Christmas Story. This one is gonna be like The Grinch and the Santa Claus. This may be too close to call. So Mickey's Christmas Carol, most votes in the last round. Does it have a shot against? I feel like it doesn't have a shot against Christmas Story, but Christmas Story had significantly fewer votes. It's, it's true, but I would have thought Mickey wouldn't have made it through round one. And I <laughs> yeah. definitely thought Mickey wasn't making it through round two. So now, there's, like, the gloves are off. Like, his white gloves are off, like, and Mickey can win this fight. Uh, Mr. Disney's got this one. Up next, and this is my favorite matchup of round three, Die Hard versus The Grinch. So, we've got John McClane, Versus the Grinch, two of the angriest characters on this list, head to head, and uh, it could be good. This is like picking which one of your children is gonna go to college. It's not fair to decide between them, but you're going to have to, and there is clearly a right decision, and it's Die Hard. Up next in the Rudolph division, Dave. The Christmas Chronicles, another surprise, but apparently yeah. this is one of the most popular movies uh, in Christmas movie history. We didn't know this movie was popular. No, I <laughs> literally <laughs> made fun of Chris, uh, Kurt Russell's hair, thinking that he was gonna get knocked out in round one, and I shouldn't be making hair jokes. Not making hair jokes. It's up against Jingle all the way, so that's a fun matchup, I think. It is, and again, Arnold Schwarzenegger's classic Christmas movie has done a lot better than I thought it would. I cannot predict who's gonna come out of that matchup. No, me neither. I really can. Up next, the final matchup of round number three, the round of eight. It's a Wonderful Life, which has made it through a lot and uh, did beat out the preacher's wife. Don't want to talk about it. I don't feel like it was all that hard. Dave was the only one voting. And uh, It's a Wonderful Life is verse Dr. Zeus, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This means, because they're in separate divisions, mm -hmm. We could have a Grinch v. Grinch final. Now, I do believe that the cartoon will make it through. I do not believe that Die Hard is going to lose to the Grinch, but the only ones that can decide is you, because your votes are the one that count. Make sure you're clicking in the quick links of SteinbeckOnline.com and voting as often as you can for your favorite movie. It's round number three. At the end of this, we're into the semifinals. <laughs> Seriously, if Die Hard loses, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. Like I don't want to play anymore. 